Hello everyone, this is Hayrotmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, we explored Emberdale, and despite the visions of doom and gloom, the gaffer is going ahead with the Flaming Fire Festival. Pomelo wants the party to help, and it'll have to be festival time for them to do so. And Maribel has the Thorn Whip from the local shop. To get this started, we'll have to rest at the inn. Hello. Hey, up. Fancy a quick nap before the festival gets underway, do you? Well, I'd say you've come at just the right time. Have a kip now, and you'll be fresh as a daisy when the festivities start. I won't be taking a penny from you for your stay, either. It's a special offer, cause the festival's on. So how about it, then? Fancy a kip? Certainly. Right-ho. Sleep tight. It's finally time. Time for the Flaming Festival to start. Sorry to turf you out like this, but I'm taking the rest of the day off. Very well. So the festival's starting, is it? Here's hoping it doesn't end in disaster. Davalos, we've got to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's start by going and talking to Pamela. Very well, Kiefer. The innkeeper certainly seems keen to get the festivities started. Indeed. Phew, looks like I made it in time for the festival again this year. It don't matter how far I travel, I always make sure I'm back in Emberdale when the festival's on. How do I know when it's taking place? I suppose it's just a gift that folk born round these parts have. I get this odd rumbling sensation. The festival's on! Welcome to the village of Emberdale, where the fabulous Flaming Festival is taking place this very evening. In fact, it's just started. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from this festival, I must say. It actually looks rather nice, though, doesn't it? Davalos, I've got an idea. Before we meet up with Pamela, why don't we talk to the gaffer one last time and see if we can convince him to call this off. When's the Return of Fire ritual getting started? That's what I want to know. I want to be the first up Burnmont with me flame, you see. I have all sorts of stock in, especially for the festival. Why don't you take a look? All right. Hmm, leather dress. Hey, up. You remember me, don't you? I'm the local innkeeper. I suppose you'll be wanting a bed for the night, will you? Well, I'm sorry, but I've just made myself a nice cup of tea, and I'm not doing a stroke of work till morning. The innkeeper's really living it up tonight, isn't he? Hee <laughs> I tell you what, there's not like a nice cup of tea after a hard day on the battlefield. It right gladdens the heart. Gulp. Ah. This tea they're all drinking seems to be getting them in the party mood. I wonder what's in it. Uh, 
All this food were made by the ladies of Emmerdale. What with the announcement being made so late in the day, it were a right palaver, getting everything ready in time. Still, at least it kept folks' minds off that awful vision of Pamela's. Hey, there's not like a festival to put a smile on your face. A cup of tea, a buddy or seven, and some good company. What more could a man want? Well, I suppose I wouldn't complain if a bonny lass were to come and sit next to me. Oh, Maribel? Well, I'm a bonny lass, all right, but keeping an old man company isn't my idea of a good time. Maybe I should just think about finding myself a lass to settle down with and spend the rest of me days here in the village. I suppose I could be happy if I did that. Me mom would be relieved, that's for sure. It's just, it seems a bit dull, that's all. Humph, finding someone to spend the rest of your life with is nowhere near as easy as he makes it sound. Great, I had a feeling that pile of burnt buddies were her handiwork. That's why I didn't touch it. Still, it looks like I'm going to end up eating them any road. Here you are, Flower. I brought you a lovely plate of buddies. I helped all the other ladies in the village to make this bread for the festival. But I made sure I saved some of my own little creations especially for you. Now eat up! I have been employed by the gaffer of this village to dance at this festival. Alas, a gaggle of small children appear to have taken the prime dancing spot in the middle of the village square. I do hope they move along soon. My fiery and passionate flaming dance deserves to be the center of attention. A passionate flaming dance, eh? Sounds right up my street. Stop gulping at her, Kiefer. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? It's dancing, Maribel. A performance art. People are meant to look, right, Davalos? Humph. Do you really expect me to believe that you're appreciating the dancing? I can dance a little, you know. I'm classically trained. Not that I'm ever going to show you two, of course. You'd never be able to appreciate it. There we go. And this one here. Hmm? What are you mithering me about now? Can't you see I'm busy? I need to get these flames ready for the return of fire ritual. Well, I've not against folk from other islands and whatnot. But if they get in the way of our festival, I'll give them a right clip round the lug hole. Hmm. Aye, that's right. Old Pamela went and asked this gang of tourists if they'd save the village. Why does she need to call on off comedons like that? She's already got the best apprentice she could hope for. Who are these off comedons she's talking about? I hope she doesn't mean us. It's festival time, hooray! The Flaming Festival's here at last. Let's get burning. Wait, hey, you're as daft as a brush, you. I told you to listen to me. Hey, what a lovely evening. It's perfect for the festival. I used to worry these things were just for young folk, but they just get better and better the older I get. Here's hoping I've plenty more left in me yet. Ah, it's you. Well, what do you think of our flaming festival? I trust you're having a final time. Yes, sir. Glad to hear it. The best is yet to come, though. Why don't you grab a buddy or two and a nice cup of tea while you wait? for the return of Fire Ritual to get underway. 
I'd be only too happy to wolf down a few of these famous butties, but what with our impending doom and all, I seem to have lost my appetite. Well, let's chat with Pamela. Hick, customers? What are you, Hick, doing? Coming in my shop on the day of the Flaming Festival. Ugh, Hick, not today. For the love of Hick, Ada. Hey, up you lot. So the festival's finally underway, eh? The path up Vermont won't open, so the return of fire ritual starts, though. That's the last part of the festival. Now then, I'll be counting on you when we're up there. Don't go forgetting that. I'm happy for you to enjoy the festivities till the ritual gets started, but don't get carried away and do what daft. Very well. Well, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful there. Don't drop it, or the flame will go out. Palm would get right Marty if that happened. What's that? You think it's dangerous to let little ones carry flames on their heads? Hehe, <laughs> not if you trained them up from young. These kids have been doing this since they were knee-high. Everyone in Emberdale's familiar with fire. We all know how dangerous it can be, and how helpful, too. Hooray! Hooray! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Stop larking about like that, you! Your flame will glow out! Now then, it's nearly time to head up Burnmont. It's quite a trek for an old lass like me, but there's no way I'm giving out of it. Eh? You've not got your flames for the ritual. Oh, that's right. You're tourists, are you not? Why don't you ask the gaffer for permission to take part? I'm sure he won't say no. Very well. I've positioned the flame on my head. What am I supposed to do now? I can scarcely move. I'm so scared of getting burnt. This is most certainly not my idea of fun. She's not wrong. This is terrifying. Not to mention deeply inelegant. I'd probably be right if I married some bonny lass. I mean, I do feel jealous when I look at that pair. Eh? Do you not have your flames yet? Go and talk to the gaffer quick. He should be standing by that flaming great pot in the corner of the village. Eh, hey, I'll be glad when all this rocking about's over. I can't stop fretting about this fire on me head. It feels like it's about to fall off. It's not about to fall off, is it, Flower? No, you'll be right, love. As long as your head feels warm, your fire's still on top of it. Humph. I only said that because I wanted him to look at me for once. There's a bit of attention too much to ask for. Honestly. That's what happens when you show off. Hey, I'm fit to bursting with tea and buddies. In fact, I'm right glad this thing's nearly over. Just need to return me little fire to the Father of the Flame, and we're done for another year. Hey, it'll write nice to put me sword down for a bit, so I can pay me respects to the Father of the Flame. Hehe, <laughs> well, what do you think of me fire? It's bigger than all the others, isn't it? Uh, sure. Hehe, <laughs> I knew it. The Father of the Flame will be dead chuffed when he sees what a lovely gift I've brought him. Welcome to the village of Emberdale, where the return of Fire Ritual, climax of the world-renowned Flaming Festival, is just getting started. World-renowned? Finally, it's time for the return of Fire Ritual. 
I hope I'll not have to wait too long for the kickoff. All right, Mr. Gaffer. Bye, Gum. You've not got your flames yet. Here, get this slot sorted, will you? Aye, right you are. Flaming hat on head. Ouchie. Right, is that everyone kitted out with flames for the ritual? Aye, all apart from the folk who won't be going up Burnmont. Grand, let's get started then, shall we? I take it you lot are all set? Yes, sir. Righto, let everyone know we're ready, will you? Right you are, Gaffer. Now then, everyone, it's time to get the Return of Fire ritual underway. Beloved Father of the Flame, we residents of Emberdale are, as ever, your most humble servants. In exchange for your continued protection, we come now to return to you the sacred flames. Bearing these holy fires, we shall make our way to Burnmont, where you reside. All we ask in return is that you provide new flames in place of these, that we may continue to be protected. Frizz, sizzle, flare. Flare's not a Dragon Quest spell. Grand. Right. Let's get up there, shall we? Indeed. Time to go up to Burnmont for a hot time. Looks like everyone's headed for Burnmont. We shouldn't waste any more time messing around here, Davalos. We need to get up there as well. Right indeed, Kiefer. Oh look, isn't it pretty? The flames are lighting the path up the mountain. You wouldn't think that each one of those lights was actually a person. Looks like everyone's still queuing up outside. I suppose the return of fire ritual hasn't started yet then. Hey up, you're a bit late aren't you? Did you get lost or somewhat? No? No? Then I suppose you must just be right slow walkers. Everyone else has lined up already. Look where your dilly dallyings landed us, Davalos. Right at the back of the queue. Go and see if anyone will let us cut in front of them, will you? It's the least you can do. It's not that we were slow. It's that everyone else was fast. By the time we'd left the village, they were all well ahead of us. Entry strictly forbidden at all times, except ritual time. Hehe, <laughs> at last. It took an age and a day, but the return of fire ritual is finally getting started. It's the only day of the year when anyone's free to come up Burnmont. Locals, tourists, anyone at all. 
Just make sure you don't fall over and put that fire out, hey? You won't be able to get it lit again up here. You will be careful with that thing, won't you, Davalos? I know what a bungler you can be. Why am I at the back of the queue? Is it simply because I'm not local? Why, that's nothing but flagrant discrimination. How rude. I came as fast as I could, but I'm still right at the back of the queue. Typical. Bye, Gum. So this is the mountain where the Father of the Flame lives. It's right pretty sight up close, isn't it? I were just a little less the last time I came here. I can barely remember a thing about it. I'm much more grown up now. Hee <laughs> hee. I can't wait to take a gander at the crater up top. I bet it's full of bubbling red-hot lava. Cracking. Beloved Father of the Flame, we beseech you to continue providing us with your protection. Hey, I'm right fed up of this queuing lark already. How much longer is it going to take, Flower? Once the Return of Fire ritual is over, we can all go back to our normal lives. Shoving burnt dinners into Migab on a daily basis isn't much to look forward, though. Ho ho! I bet the Father of the Flame can't wait for me to return this flame to him. It's right biggin'. Hey, there's not worse than waiting around for someone to get started. Makes me right marty, it does. Any road, I'll never understand why folk feel the need to line up for stuff. I mean, we're not ants, are we? Tisk, what's the use in waiting around like this? Let's hurry up and get started. It won't be long now, dear visitors. The return of fire ritual will be getting started at any minute. Let's just hope Pomelo's prediction doesn't come true, eh? Speaking of which, the old girl's nowhere to be seen, is she? Maybe she's gone inside already. Heh <laughs> I'm first in the queue, and I'm not giving up me place for no one, so there. Hey up, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm happy to say that the Return of Fire ritual is about to start. Grand, I'm first. Me, me. Now then, there's no rush. The purpose of this ritual is to show our respect to the Father of the Flame. It's not a race. There'll be no playing favorites, so you've no need to worry about losing your pl- Well, if it isn't our honored guests. In you come, you lot. Oi. I thought you just said I wouldn't lose me place. You can't let these Johnny-come-latelys in before me. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. We've visitors from Lord knows how far away, and here you are, fussing about being first. Humph. Sorry, fella. Come on, you lot. So we get to go first. This is the place we saw in that vision. Now then, as you've probably guessed, this here's Burnmont's Crater. All you need to do to play your part in the ritual is take them flames you're carrying and chuck them in the crater, like so. See, what we're doing is returning the fire that's been protecting us all year to the Father of the Flame who gave it to us in the first place. Now then, are you ready to throw your flames in the crater and return them to their creator? Certainly. Righto. One at a time now. 
Davalos throws his flame into the crater. There's something a bit odd about throwing a flames into a volcano, but here goes nothing. Kiefer throws his flame into the crater. I don't even want to think about what would happen if you fell in there. I'm just going to throw this thing and take a step back, okay? Maribel throws her flame into the crater. Right, now it's the villagers' turn. You lot are all done. You can head back to the village if you like. Well, thank you. We won't be doing that. It seems a bit strange to be throwing fire into a volcano. Isn't it hot enough as it is? Hey, look! Isn't that Pamela over there? The Return of Fire Ritual The climax of the Flaming Festival, the Return of Fire Ritual, gets underway. Davalos and his friends are given their own flames and head off towards Vermont. Inside the volcano, the party throw their flames into the crater. Having done so, however, who should they bump into but Pamela and her assistant? All right. Our work here is done. Yeah, right. We've got to find a way to stop this place blowing its top. Right, that's you lot's work to here done. You can get back to the village now. Eek! Y y you gave me the fright of me life. What are you thinking sneaking up on me like that? What if I'd fallen in? I can't believe Pamela asked me to keep watch in such a dangerous spot in the first place, to be honest. Still, mustn't grumble. Not when she's standing right in front of me any road. <laughs> At least she didn't actually fall in. That really would have put her in a dangerous spot. Hello? You lot took your time. The ritual's already started. Right, there's no time to waste. You lot need to get yourselves down into the belly of Burnmont quick as you can. There's somewhat strange going on down there, no doubt about it. I need you to look into it for me. I can't go in myself. It's crawling with monsters, see? Come back here if you get in trouble, though. I've got medicines that'll heal aught that ails you. And I can do a half-decent impression of a priest if need be. Eh? Ah, oh, folk are coming in. Time's running out. You've got to get moving. Very well, Pamela. Do we really have to go down into the middle of the volcano? I mean, it's going to be even hotter down there than it is up here, isn't it? All right, Davalos, let's get going. Belly of Burnmont, here we come. Oh, shut up, Kiefer. It's hot enough already without you getting all fired up. <laughs> Once everyone in the village has thrown their flame into the crater, the ritual will be over. You lot need to sort this mess out before that happens. Yes, we do. So, let's get started. Welcome to Burnmont. It's so hot in here, I think I'm actually melting. Ugh, I'm dripping with sweat. If I keep sweating like this, I'm going to waste away. Watch out for that lava, Davalos. One false move, and you'll be coming up crispy. Into the volcano. Pomelo speaks to the party, and makes it clear that she'd like them to go further into the volcano to investigate what's going on. She reassures them that she'll be able to heal their wounds if they get into trouble and that all they have to do is come back to her and ask. Their friends need to discover the cause of the eruption they envisioned before the return of fire ritual draws to a close. 
they grit their teeth and head into the depths of the volcano. Holy moly, it's hot in here. Now I know what a roast potato feels like. We have some mouse flaps. Bad news for you guys. Maribel has a whip. So long, mouse flaps. Downstairs. Some choppy hoppers appear. A surprise attack, huh? Actually, I think we want to go north first. Uh-oh. Someone else is returning the flame. It's so hot in here. Hello, guys. Goodbye, King Fushos. And Maribel reaches level eight. Congrats, Maribel, level eight. What's up, shabby cats? Shark. So long, kitties. Ah, some little devils. So long, jerks.
confound you! Downstairs? Now the middle path. Past these jerks, a bubble slime. They can inflict poison. A medicinal herb. And more jerks. Go Betty by you jerks. Farewell, guys. And... Davalos reaches level 8. He learns Zoom. Very good. Congrats, Davalos. Level 8. Now with the Zoom spell. In the present, he can use it to return to any town he's visited. Goodbye, enemies. Around this way now, another chest with the Seed of Resilience. Hey guys! by enemies. Downstairs now.
another festival participant. Hello, guys. Suddenly attack. That's not nice. by enemies. More little devils. Hang in there, Maribel. Long. Upstairs now. More jerks. More little devils down. You jerk. by enemies. Kiefer reaches level 9. Congrats, Kiefer. Level 9. Now out this opening, to a cliff, and a chest with a divine dagger. That's better for Davalos. Good show. Now upstairs. Upstairs again. 
another participant. A big old hole. It's so hot in here, I think I'm actually melting. What's up, choppy hoppers? So long, choppy hoppers. Alley -oop. Well, good day, sir. Throwing in his flaming hat. down again. Well, well, a healing circle. And chests. 110 gold. There we go. And an antidotal herb. Let's hand out some medicinal herbs. Maybe some for Kiefer also, just in case. Now then, next time, we'll drop down and face the boss of this place. This is Heyrotnia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.